want people to find out what you're thinking. You begin to think of LinkedIn, Facebook, Google+, Twitter as places where you present yourself. Now, who would think Facebook would be a professional presentation? A lot of it's family oriented. A lot of it can be controlled at, at, within private groups, but you can also build a business page on Facebook. And that's where you can start sharing things that you're passionate about. And a student or an individual a professional who shares their professional expertise, shares their interests, shares the things they're passionate about, that speak to their values, has a chance to put themselves out there so that ultimately a search engine will crawl through everything, spider it up, make a duplicate, link it with keywords, and put their names out there associated with the things that they're passionate about. That's an important thing to do. So, by taking these simple steps, you can begin to affect how things actually look online. And that's where some new types of programs come in that I'd like you to consider. And this one in particular that I, I'm going to show you is called um, Trust Cloud. Now, Trust Cloud's a little different. It's, let me get this up there on screen share. Um, Trust Cloud will take your online data and quantify it into badges. And when they say claim your trustworthy online data, what they're talking about is your behavior on things like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, um, uh, eBay. Now, <laughs> when I first signed up for this, I wasn't sure what I was getting into, but I wanted to make sure that all of the things I'd done online were being searched so that when I did get my score, all of my work would be sort of counted in the final analysis. Um, what I found was when I hooked up my eBay scores, they were able to go back in and find some transactions I'd made online when I was selling car parts six years ago for vintage cars. I was an enthusiast, I had a lot of parts, and uh, next thing I knew, my behavior as an online merchant was being used to help determine, uh, to a certain degree at least, what my trustworthiness factor was in um, um, uh, the trust cloud universe. Now, as it turned out, I always fulfilled my customers' needs. I sold them the parts that they wanted. They came in a timely manner. They got a good service. I was very responsive. That's the way I am online. That's, that's, that's one of my beliefs is responsiveness and to, and to treat everybody as a valued customer, students and, and people I'm selling to as well. And I, I was surprised that this would be used to, to establish my trust, but then I thought, aren't we usually judged by our financial transactions? Isn't this part of how people would want to know us? So there is behavior from five years ago popping up today. So in preparation for this presentation, I've been curating articles on this topic, which we'll share with you in our Deagle list of resources. What I wanted to do was make you aware that there are methods to measure your online reputation trail. There are ways to affect that trail by solid participation in the online networks and by thoughtful participation that displays your values. And that if we teach this and advise those that are or working with about this reality, people will have a greater sense of control and a more of an awareness of their online behavior and how it reflects their values. And that's where it ties into our presentation today. So I wanna thank you all for the opportunity to speak with you. I am grateful. I am very grateful for this opportunity. I only wish I could be there, and I, I'm assuming that because you're watching this video, there may have been a technical difficulty to keep me from a, being a live presence at the conference, but let you know that my, my heart's there with you, and uh, I'll be very interested to see uh, how you respond to the majority of the presentation from Annette. So thank you very much, and I look forward to learning more.